So tell me about, so is this your current number so one? So this is my current number one. It is uh, called the Meridian uh, Reality Base. So there was only a handful of these ever made. Uh, Jim Meridian had made, uh, I don't know if you remember, it was this odd green, uh, strange shape bass for Chris Squire from the band Yes. Yes. And it was like in the Owner of a Lonely Heart video sure. and kind of that era. Yeah. So when I was in high school, I realized that this guy built this bass in my hometown in Winchester, Massachusetts. Uh. And so I went down to his guitar shop and basically hung out there and loitered for <laughs> like weeks until he gave me a, a job at his custom guitar shop. Uh. So it wasn't until years later that we started building these. I actually worked at his shop there in Winchester and that's where I met Nuno and ended up you know, the, the rest is history. Yeah, the rest, so yeah, it is I, history. I will always have a Meridian on the on the road with me. Unfortunately, uh, Jim Meridian has passed away, but his sons have worked for the band and, and still like, you know, are, are like little brothers to me. Uh, uh, but I'll always have a Meridian. Unfortunately, we're not, they're not making really many more of these or, you know, yeah. his son has made a few of them, but the, there was a run of these. So I, I have this one and this one on the road with me right now. Uh, but those those two are very special to me. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, what a great yeah. history. So it looks light. It's, it's not bad. You want, you want to check yeah. it out? It's made of alder, the, oh, yeah. the body. Yeah, it's not not bad, not quite the crippler that yeah. a lot of bases and, are. And these two actually have another particularly kind of cool story. Um, Jim Rainey and I, we were making this run of bases, and, and uh, I approached Tom Hamilton from Aerosmith and said, hey, man, you want to, you know, he actually came down to the shop, and we yeah. said, we want to build another, one. Another, another Massachusetts yeah, guy. Yeah, this is another Boston guy. Yeah. So I... Uh, I said, what, why don't you come down and check out this bass? We want to, you know, give you one. If you like it, you know, play it in a video or whatever. Yeah. So uh, he came down in a silver Corvette. <laughs> and so he said, oh, we'll, we'll paint it the same color as your Corvette. So we painted this bass and I gave it to Tom. And then years later, it was like, you know, I'd say two years ago. And I said, hey, Tom, do you ever still play that bass? He goes, you know, you know the guys had like 100,000, oh, you know, God. basses. So yeah. He's like, you know, honestly, it's it, it's there at Vindaloo, but I, I don't really play it live. I said, well, you know, Jim Meridian passed away, and uh, I said I had like, you know, uh, some some real, you know, um, I, I I really wanted to kind of try to collect some of the ones that were made originally, and so sure. he said. Give me your address, I'll send it to you. Oh. So this was actually Tom Hamilton's bass. So God. some of this, some of these like grooves in here were from his thumb. So, oh, God, that's yeah, great. so this so, one has kind of a cool story to it. So what year, so this is the one where he drove in with the Corvette and, yeah. and that's the color. So what year would that have been? That would have been like, I'd say maybe 97, God. something like that, yeah, 98, you were a kid. so yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it was, it, was po it was one extreme had kind of broken up and Gary was in Van Halen at that yeah, time, yeah. you know, not to, not to drop any names, Aerosmith, Van Halen, you know. Uh, pretty big band, <laughs> pretty, pretty big, uh, pretty big But yeah, band. this was Tom Hamilton's bass, so he, he kind of gifted it back to me. Um, God, that's great. What a yeah. what an odyssey. Huh? And, and then uh, la in that same year, we opened for Aerosmith at Fenway Park. Oh wow! Um, so I played the bass at Fenway, and he was standing over the side of the stage. And like, yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> it was cool. Oh, yeah. that's, that's great, man. Okay, it looks like you've got the uh, the drop up there. Yeah, I got the drop. We we do a few tunes in drop D. Yeah. A um, couple off the new record, and then. Uh, um, you know, a couple of the old tracks. Sure, you know. and, but you've always been a loyal four-string guy for the oh, most yeah, part. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've only owned, like, one five-string. Yeah, yeah. And even now, like, uh, you know, we're on the road with Living Color, and yeah. Doug Wimbish hands me his brand-new Spectre five-string, and I'm like, <laughs> dude, I can't play this thing. I, I don't know. Like, the, the fifth string always just oh. really confuses me. Yeah, I right. just haven't spent enough time with them, you know? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's supposed to be E. <laughs> yeah, I go to hit the you know open E and I'm like, wait, uh, wait wrong note, you know. Go to do a scale, I'm like, I'm in the wrong key. Yeah. I don't know what's happening here. So. That's great. So okay, tell me about like what pickups did you choose on this? Well, we always put the EMG uh, yeah. PJ setup. Yeah. And I think there's a uh, EMG like uh, uh, tone circuit and stuff in here too. So it's active Good. electronics in this guy. So, but it's got a few battle scars. Oh, yeah. Some of them I've contributed, and sure. some of them Tom did to yeah. this one. And some probably your techs over the years. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where, where they, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, heard, are. I've heard it hit the deck a couple <laughs> times, you know. It happens. Yeah. Yeah, part of it. Okay, so that's number one. That's Great my number story. one. 
Number two, how similar are these two? Well, this guy has pretty much been a case, you know, queen. Like yeah, it yeah. has not. So <laughs> well, when you got that one, it's hard to. <laughs> you know, at the time, and you know, this is, it sounds like I'm making this up, but at the time when Gary joined Van Halen, yeah. I did the same thing with Michael Anthony. And I said, and it's not like it's not a great bass, but, you know, these guys had so many guitars thrown at right. them over the years, and Mike had his thing or whatever. Yeah. So I said, Mike, I want you to check out this bass. So Jim Marady and I, we built these at the same time. Oh, really? And painted this one the color of Jim's 442, like it was uh, his cool classic car. Yeah. And so... Um, I have another couple of these at home that I had played for years and years. I have yeah. a black one that's all beat up and stuff. But uh, so this one was kind of a case queen because after, you know, Mike checked it out, but he never played it live. And, yeah. and so I went to his tech, Doogie. I said, hey, can you ask Mike if, if this thing's sitting in a case somewhere, you know, just in the dark, it'd be kind of sad if no one plays it. Yeah. So, so again, he was like, Mike said, just, yeah, give me your address, I'll FedEx it to you. So this one was kind of a case queen in perfect condition. The only difference is this one just has a P pickup. Yeah. So, you know, I, I usually use the PJ ones, yeah. but this one has a cool tone of its own, you know, so. Yeah. But yeah, that was Mike Anthony's bass, okay. Tom Hamilton's. Van Halen. I'm an Indian giver. I'm an Indian giver, <laughs> what can I say? But no, they, they well, were cool about well, it. That's, I mean, that's the way it should be with endorsement instruments. Like, if, yeah. if they don't speak to you. Yeah, you know. I'd be sad if this was sitting in a case, oh, you know, God. in the dark yeah. in the warehouse somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And, um. This one actually was sitting in Steven Tyler's vocal booth at Vindaloo, ah. like propped up against a, a case or something oh, for years. Oh, the things it saw. Yeah, and so, uh, and but yeah, this one just was in a case, you know. So it's like looks like brand new, and you know, it just had uh, some real significance to me to, to yeah. try to 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 get these back, you know. Oh yeah, hey, that okay. Those are two very cool stories. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, okay. pretty cool basis.